So my friends, so I thought I would show you what I made with my uh, Stash Bash Take 10 kit for May 2019. The first thing I have here is using all of these, um, and, and there's a video, don't worry. Uh, they're using up all kinds of little scraps for my kit, which was so fantastic to use just a little bit more. So I did this layout, and this is a tattoo that kind of happened this month. So it is called So This Happened. The next one I did is featuring my youngest dog having his very first puppuccino at Starbucks, and he just loved it. This is the only one I think I used my cork pieces on. I was really hoping to use more of those. Next, I had this one right here. This is a photo of myself in front of a really great bakery in our region. And I ended up using little scrap bits again, and I have kind of used some really great bits and pieces from all different collections. So that's always really fun. Really enjoyed that. And then the last thing I did was I did a tutorial and that will be, you know, on the station, you can, on my channel, I'm sorry, it's down there, to, uh, on how to make a traveler's notebook, and I chose to make a chunky style, and I have a very simple traveler's notebook little spread that I did. So that's what I made. Now let me try to show you what I have left. And my desk is a little bit of a mess because I went into a bit of a creative frenzy with this kit. I had a lot of fun with it. I just used up all the goodies I could from this kit all at once. And I haven't even scrap scrapbooked anything else in the meantime. So, I do not have any full-size pieces of paper left. And if you remember, I had full-size pieces of paper as well as scraps because I really wanted to concentrate on using up some scraps. So, let's see. I'll be keeping that one, this one. Like, truly, there are a bunch that are just going to be going right into the bin. I used up so much. So, these are going to go right into my recycle bin. Very excited that that's all I have left of my pattern paper here. So, let's get that right into the bin while I'm talking to you. Then, let's see, I did use, I didn't use any of this washi tape book. That's a bit of a bummer, but that, that can happen. Didn't use any of that. I will put that back. I did use a few pieces out of this washi tape book, though, so that's cool. I used only a couple pieces of these, they're called enamel dots, but they're triangles. And I did finish up the little badges that came in this set. So that was a win. Very cool. Then, let's see. I'm kind of putting stuff away as I go. i got to stop doing that. I used, I think, a couple words out of this Oasis pack. Just a few stickers from this. Not that many at all. And it's kind of funny because I love these stickers. Absolutely find this collection to be gorgeous. I did use a couple pieces out of this Confetti Wishes set, and I ended up feeling like this sticker set here, it just did not end up going with the layouts that I came up with. So I must have used the other side of the pattern paper or whatever, it just did not really work out. I used just a couple words from this, a bunch out of this. This was already open though. This had not been opened and this hadn't been opened until this kit. So I did use a little bit, but I didn't use as long of titles as I normally do. Kind of weird. Let's see. Used up a bunch more of the stickers from the Well Hello collection. And I used a ton from these Pinkbrush Sequin Studio Puffs. So that was cool. And only, I think, three out of this one. I used two of the hearts out of this embellishment pack. Oh gosh, did I use anything at all? 
I don't think I used anything out of that one. That's a bit of a bummer. And I never ended up opening these two packs. And the reason why is I was really trying to concentrate on my embellishments that I had opened previously. And I think that went really well. Like I used a ton of this patio party and a nice dent into the pink brush. So that's going to end up getting used again. I only used three of the cork pieces out of this one. So not as many as I would like. Maybe I'm going to try to concentrate on using them on some masculine pages. Like if I just pop it over to the other side and not have so much of the pretty, pretty, pretty stuff. So that's what I used today. I was able to make three layouts, a traveler's notebook, as well as a traveler's notebook spread. So I couldn't be happier. I'm so excited and looking forward to next month. So please go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff on my channel. Leave me a comment. I always get back to you as soon as I can. I like to uh, kind of have a little coffee and I, I would call it a chat session, but I go ahead and respond to all of my, uh, all of the people that have reached out to me and I really, really enjoy spending my time with you guys. So we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.